On Monday, C. Pleasant, a smart city of excellence, partnered with our state's attorney, the Honorable Aisha Brayboy, to distribute free groceries to citizens and residents of our community. Ms. Brayboy stated, during this time of a pandemic, there are still families that need, and we are here to help. We thank our state's attorney for her leadership. The grocery boxes filled with vegetables and fruit was provided by Farmers to Families Food Box Program, which was originally funded by the United States Department of Agriculture. The USDA exercised its authority under the Families First Coronavirus Response Act to purchase and distribute up to $3 billion worth of agricultural products to those in need. People from the community arrived early to receive their boxes. Many came with grateful hearts and joyful spirits to receive the boxes that would carry them another day. Several senior citizens were in line to receive the free groceries, granting them access to fresh and wholesome foods. The event was co-organized by Edward Burroughs III, school board member for Prince George's County, Maryland, Ms. Sharon Lippert, director of public engagement, and Mr. Devin Martin, acting chief operating officer for C. Pleasant, a smart city of excellence. Several volunteers were on hand to assist in distributing the boxes of free groceries. Among the volunteers included former C. Pleasant Council member Brian Shivers, members of the state's attorney staff, members of the C. Pleasant government staff, and members from the Village Green Civic Association. To them, we owe a gratitude of thanks. Additionally, my team and I went door to door to deliver boxes of free groceries to some of our seniors who were unable to get in line. C. Pleasant, a smart city of excellence, has a 21% senior population that live on fixed incomes. The average income for our seniors in C. Pleasant is only $13,000 per year. The free groceries will help many of our senior citizens who are unable to get out of their homes during this pandemic. As a large population of vulnerable people who reside in Sea Pleasant, we must make every effort to find ways to support our families and our senior citizens. We are very grateful to our beloved state's attorney, the Honorable Aisha Brayboy, and the Farmers to Families Food Box Program for all of their help in making this a huge success. That's all the time we have for this week. To learn more about our digital transformation, please visit us at www.seatpleasantmd.gov, where we continue to engage, educate, and empower. I am Eugene W. Grant, the Mobile Mayor.